Chewy. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike with Tesla 365. We've got the latest and greatest update information on Tesla's new release that they just did about two nights ago. Um, I wasn't where I had Wi-Fi, so I couldn't download it. But after today, the steering seems to be a lot better in auto drive. I've just got my thumb and a few fingers on the wheel down at the bottom here. And it seems to be a lot better a lot lot better i'm happy they did this update and the car believe it or not seems quicker it really does especially after the 50 mile an hour mark 50 to 90 seems very very fast i don't know did the update did not say anything about that but it definitely feels like they did something and i couldn't be more happy and here it is speed limit mode this new feature limits the ultra acceleration of your vehicle and allows you to set a maximum speed between 50 and 90 miles an hour when your vehicle is in park you can activate speed limit mode by tapping controls setting safety secure and touchscreen by tapping controls on the mobile app you must use the same four digit pin to enable to disable the speed limit mode a location is sent to your mobile device if the vehicle approaches the maximum speed oh this is really cool all right and then his autopilot what else is the update autopilot um, apply light force to the steering wheel uh, we've changed the hold steering wheel alert to now display I get distracted display light force to the steering wheel to better communicate how autopilot detects your hands on the steering wheel reducing the frequency of the alert displaying as a reminder uh, auto steer detects your hands by recognizing the slight resistance as the steering wheel turns or from your from you manually turning the steering wheel very lightly okay instrument cluster There's something different in there instrument cluster now delivers the vehicles in the adjacent lanes in front of you which is fantastic traffic aware crews uh, when taking a highway exit or interchange with the traffic aware crews TACC turned on your vehicle decelerates or D de accelerates decelerates as needed but you will not but will not bring your vehicle to a complete stop while your vehicle decelerates the blue circle around the set cruise speed will rotate to indicate this feature is activated um, introducing new Navigation, I don't like the navigation, it takes too long for it to update, it kind of sucks. But some of the stuff I knew already, mobile connector improvement, um, we'll connect it when your vehicle has finished charging. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that, I don't care about that. Previous, it seems like the car is faster, so that is why we we automatically ran to, um, to the updates to see what they did. Uh, it really feels faster from 50, 50 above. Before it was like you hit 50, 60 and the car kind of fell off. It feels feels quicker, does it not, Mike? Yeah, it does. Um, and by the way, guys, this is my son. This is my son. He's a little, a little shy. He doesn't like the camera. He likes to talk, but doesn't like the camera. All right, guys. Appreciate it. That was just our little update that we're going to be doing here. Um, we did a little update that I didn't do it. Tesla did it. But wanted to at least bring it to your attention. Thanks, guys.